Welcome back to Heroes Next Door. Thank you all for watching. Today we're doing a station rigs. We're down in Corolla. This is their fire rescue, and we're going to do their 1986 GMC 7000. So Corolla is here on North Carolina Outer Banks. They have a lot of beaches and they need a truck like this that's a four wheel drive. I need to have a little bit of help explaining what's in this. So we're gonna talk to their chief real quick. Hi chief, how you doing? Hey, how are we? Not too bad. Real quick, tell our uh, fans uh, who you are. Chief Richard Shortway, Corolla Fire Department, volunteers. We're here on the Outer Banks. This is my 1986 Classic, it's still in service. We use this mainly to uh, go up to Corova, the North Beach, as a mutual aid to our fellow department. Wow, this thing is absolutely monstrous. What do you have on the inside here, Chief? Can you get close It's old style here, okay? It, from uh, turning on the power to the truck, okay, to uh, it's an automatic. And here we have manual trans is shifted into pump gear, into four wheel drive. Uh, old style siren on it, but right. it's a good truck. So this is the kind of truck that doesn't have the airbags, it doesn't have power windows, it doesn't have all those mechanical things that break down, but this truck is a beast. It still runs <laughs> the old seat belt. The yeah. old lot belt. <laughs> you know, but this is the kind of truck that's reliable. When you need to get on the beach, this is what it's, you're, you're pulling in. I don't have electronics, I don't have all the uh, emissions on this truck. This truck starts all the time, and going up the beach, it's the best running truck I have on the beach. Wow. Do you mind if we take a look around? Could you Let's show us around? Take, yep. Okay, here I have a hail pump in here, 750 gallons per minute. Okay. She'll push up to about 900. Wow. I have an intake, five inch. Yeah. Two uh, inch and a half discharges. Okay. The presets up here, Preset, right? Preset, uh, cross lays, two of them, and we have a deck gun on this truck. Okay. And a booster line. So it's everything that you want in a fire truck. So one of the questions I have, you're running this up on the beach. I noticed you got the intakes and you got the hard sleeves. Are you drafting from the ocean? Or no, you, okay. I really draft. They have uh, drafting ponds up there when we go up north that uh, are already piped. Okay. We just connect to them. Well, most of the time this will go to the scene and I'll draft from a drop tank. Okay, okay. Uh, and they'll have uh, transfers with their tankers from the draft sites to the ponds. Now, talking to our audience, why would you not want to draft from the ocean? It seems like endless water. The movement of the ocean is tough to keep your draft, keep suction going all the time. And plus, I try to stay away from salt water as much as possible. Okay, because that's going to break down the pumps. And... It, it eats on your metal. Oh. Uh, you know, you leave it in there. When we're done fighting a fire, this pump gets flushed out, tank gets flushed out, because if I did draft or I'm pulling from an area that is brackish water, it's no different than having salt water. Okay, okay. Let's go around the cabinets. What do you got in some of these cabinets? Oh, let's see. We have our hardware jewelry in here. Okay. Toolboxes. Yep, all your connections. Yep. So this is more your engineer's cabinet. Correct. Okay. Here we have some uh, brush for brush fires. Halligan axe, good old uh, windshield Glass saw masters, here. yeah, yeah. Yep. Everybody knows those. He's, he's still got the old center punch in. A lot yep. of times we lose those ones. Here. In here, I have my flashlights, as uh, you asked about drafting. Okay. I have my floats, stationary draft, radio chargers back here. Now this is four wheel drive, correct? Yes. And I noticed that when we're coming back here, you only have a single set of tires on the back. Why is that? Going on the beach and deflating your tires, I run at 50 pounds. Oh. Okay, on the beach, so I stay on top of the sand. Okay. With dualies on the back, they would rub together, I'd pop a tire. Oh, okay. Just so from the pure uh, friction, friction of the, the friction tire. The friction of the two tires rubbing together. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, it's unusual to see a truck this large with only a single tire on the back. And also very large tires, so you yeah, get up and they're, over. They're oversized, plus the truck's lifted. You're seeing it sit down low right now because of the water on it. Right, right. So, Chief, as we make our way around to the backside, I want to tell my viewers, do us a favor. Hit subscribe, hit notification, so we can keep building this channel. Back here, you have a regular fire truck, but 
Tell me what, exactly what's here. I carry three inch on the back of this because this is going to Corova and they use mostly three inch up there Okay. for connections. I still have a courtyard lay on the back of the truck as a normal fire truck. In here, back to normal fire truck stuff. Carries a propane generator. Fan, okay. exhaust fan. Smoke ejectors, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I did something. You got a rehab gear. Yeah, yeah re uh, we carry a little bit of water on here just okay. in case. Now this tailboard looks large enough to ri to ride. Do you still ride on the tailboards on these? No. No? no. You, could, you don't well, go I started, school. I could, but not today. <laughs> you know. And it is really, you could. Right. But I would never do it. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So you got some ladders up here too. Right. Down here in Corolla, you have some pretty large homes. But what I noticed is they're all elevated. So, you know, even just the standard home, before I get onto the main level, I gotta go upstairs. Yes. Is that, a, is that why you have such big ladders on a, a truck like this or? No, because I, to get classification as a pumper, I gotta have the ladders. Okay. 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 We can use them on the home, yes. This also has a combination ladder, if you see it up there. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, and we use this as our third due out engine. Okay. And our first, second due out to Corova. Okay. So not only is it a pumper, it's also a service truck, if you see on the front. Right. It gives me bonus points on my ISO for having a service truck. Okay. So, Very cool. Yeah, so it's a multi-function, get yep. everything that you need done with it. Tarps. Tarps, cones, cones, collapsible cones, rope. Yep. So some even blocks. some cribbing, yeah. yeah. Low for oil spills. And this is one of the big things you need up in Corova. <laughs> that is something that we have not seen yet on a fire truck as a necessity. Making sure that you have your bug spray. <laughs> okay, and uh, Here's the SCBAs. It looks like you're using the MSA G1 packs. Yes. Very good packs to use. We appreciate that. And just some lighting in here. All right. Got some and ground lights. Come along. And I have another connection on this side. Okay. Okay. Right. That I could pull from. This is an absolute beast of a truck. I mean, if I step up to this, you know, I'm five foot 11. You know, it's it's waist high, you know, to get up into this truck. Yeah, it's a, Do you have a problem getting over the dunes or is that why this is big this way? I don't have a problem getting over the dunes. <laughs> but uh, air pressure is the biggest thing with sand. Okay. You want to ride on top. Flat tires, okay. bowl tires are better in the sand. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's something that I, I never would have thought of. I figured, you know, maybe a good aggressive mud tire would get you through or something like that. They dig in. Okay. It digs in too much to the sand. So you just kind of want to float you over the top. You want to sit on top of the sand. So you know what? We're going to do something. We're going to take this thing out and take a look at it. Okay. See how it runs. You Is that all right it. with you? Yeah. yeah. All right. Chief, now that we're back at station, thank you for inviting us out. That was awesome to see this thing in action. So once again, this is Heroes Next Door. We're doing a station rigs. This is Corolla Fire Rescue. If you guys are ever interested in coming down or volunteering, stop by, talk to them. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe, hit that notification, and we'll keep bringing you more.